I just knew it was bleeding and it was really, I was really in pain. So I parked my car in handicap park. So every time hope flies now on me, I cringe. Hi, Hopi. Welcome to my channel! Beautiful CV piece. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm right now here at the dry lake to free fly hope, love, and angel. I um, have been really um, healing, laying low. Because look, my ear, it's still painful. Let me go get the birds out. Guys, if you're new to my channel, please smash the like button and the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell because I don't want you to miss any of my episodes. And also go check out all my shorts and my other channel, Angelic Parrots. If you want to get my book, How to Train Your Parent and, and more, go to this website. I'm going to link it up below. Uh, I'm going to link it in the description also up here so you can go get it. I don't have many. I think I have four more copies and then that's it. Okay guys, I have love here. I just put his GPS on. Check out how cute he is. He has a little backpack right um, um, back. And the nice thing is I discovered also my book. It's really important to find your birds with GPS. Love doesn't tolerate any tail mount or leg mount. He also shred this expensive GPS right there. You see, he really wants it. So what I do is he flies with this um, harness and with his little backpack in the back. So I have peace of mind, right? Mm. He's not going to fly away, but just peace of mind. All right, let's get Hopi out and then Angel. Can you go fly, love? Hello, Angel. Oh. Oh. Come on, Angel. Come on up. It's beautiful outside. Are you excited, Angel? Oh. Okay. Angel has this little cage. Open it up. Oh, Angel, ready? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, Angel. Good boy. Oh. 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 So, love and Angel is out. Let's get Hopi. Let's go to Hopi. Oh, Angel. Hi. Are you going to go fly for me? Let's get Hopi out. Hey, don't break my car. Okay, guys, are you ready to go fly? Oh, one, two, three, go. There you go. Love, love. I'm gonna focus just on love. Come on, love. Come on. Way. This was the first flight, and everybody did a good job. Love went the other direction. Well, Hope and Love, oh, Angel went this way, so they're like. So I just follow um, love because love is a little slower. Yeah, are you having fun? Hi. Are you having fun? He's having so much fun. Yeah. Okay. So Hopi, let's go fly again. Guys, look at all these dust. Wow, look at all these dust. <gasps> Did you just poop on my sack? Wait. Oh, love, that's not nice. Now we have to clean up that poop. Right? Hope and Angel are already done flying. Okay, ready? Hopi, come. Hopi, Hopi, Hopi. You love? One, two, three. Hopi. Okay, Angel stayed behind in the car. He didn't want to come out. Okay, Hopi. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, one, two, three, go! Go, 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 go! So Angel went back to the car while Hope and Love is with me. Um, Angel went out of steam. So now I'm gonna fly Love. Okay, all three of them did a really awesome job. I have here Angel, Love and Hope. All three of them did an awesome job. We're going back to the car. They need to like take a rest and I give them some snacks. And then I'll talk to you guys regarding my ear. Oh, Angel just took off. Angel, let's go rest. Look, they're panting. You <laughs> can see his heart pumping. Guys, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> All three of them hiding in the car. Guys, they're done. They're totally done. Yeah, they're done. Let me give you some water. Water. Drink. Water. Guys. Guys. Good, Opie. Good. So it's important to take rest between flights. So now I want to talk about my ear. So this guy here attacked me uh, five days ago. Um, let me tell you the story what happened. So I was doing things, working, then I came into the bird room and I saw Love and Hope together and Hope was like really like a little agitated and he was like um, a little aggressive and I noticed that. <laughs> After filming this video, the door was open from the bird room and I was like, um, come on come let's free fly and hope didn't want to come out and he was very protective over love and i noticed it and then he came out once and he missed me and he fell right onto the floor and i thought it was funny i didn't even thought he's gonna attack me i mean this is my hope here i erase him i have him since he was four months old he's seven years now seven years right you're seven hopi so he walked back into the bird room climbed back up to the perch and i was trying to get love out and then all of the sudden like a rocket he came shooting out of the bird room and right onto my ear latch onto my ear and punch it and stab it like four times the punching and the attack just take like two seconds but it felt like 10 to 20 seconds it was a long time while he was in my ear and i tried to take get him off me his body but he wouldn't go um and i have this video clip roll the clip so this clip was surveillance camera from the 
attack from the kitchen how he came out and I just hold my ear ran out at that moment went into the bedroom where my husband was and I was like hope bit my ear hope bit my ear and he was like oh my gosh let me see and I show him and it's like that's bad that's really bad I was like I'm gonna go to the ER so I was like can you take care of the birds um, so no free flying he says yes he's gonna take care I jump into my car drove myself for 20 minutes to the ER I nearly made like two accidents oh look at this guy look at this guy what is he trying to prove oh my gosh people so basically i ran into the er got there I, I i nearly made two accidents i drove like 97 miles per hour it was really really fast on the freeway i was like at this point i was in pain i was shaking i was in shock and i just wanted to get myself in the er like as soon as possible i really thought in that moment because i couldn't see myself that my ears was detached i thought it was rip off i didn't know the extent of the, the damage i just knew it was bleeding and it was really i was really in pain so i park my car in handicap park. so every time hope flies now on me i cringe hi hopey come on step up step up hopey. Wait, 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 wait. Come, come, come. i try to act normal because i at this point like some trust has been broken so i i don't know if i can trust hopey anymore if he bit me once who tells him like if he can bite me again like who guarantee me he won't bite me again nobody so it's just like on him hopey will you bite me again hmm? but again he's territorial he's he's agitated he didn't want me to touch love he was jealous i think he was really jealous of love were you jealous of love hopey yeah boy hi so I park at handicap parking lot, run myself into the ER, holding like my husband gave me a towel. So I'm just like holding the blood and holding, putting pressure on this wound. And then I just ran into the ER. And of course I don't film this because it was really an emergency. And I'm just like, my ear, my ear, I got bitten. I got bitten, my ears detached. And all the people in the lobby was just like, what? They were like looking at me. I was really a spectacle there. So I came into the ER, the nurse took my ID and then they brought me in immediately into the, the nurse's room where they gave me pain mats and they gave me a shot right in my arm. Oh my gosh, that shot was so painful. That shot felt like it was um, as much pain as the bite. It was a pinch and then it was like a stab, like a burn. Oh my gosh, my whole arm on this side couldn't be even activated. You wanna come over or you wanna come cuddles? He's jealous. I couldn't even move my arm for like a whole minute, like after the stab. Um, and then the pain mats kicked in, the pain got a little better. And then I was waiting for like three hours for a room and I was waiting and I was waiting and I was waiting and I felt really like sleepy. Um, after five hours, a room was available. I was seven hours in the ER. Um, and then the room was available. They brought me in, they clean my ear and then they look at the, the extent of the damage. The bleeding has already stopped. And then, um, they, they, they numb my ear with four um, shots all around it. It was so painful. Um, you saw the video. And then um, once my ear was numb, they stitch it up. So this is day five of the wound in five days after 10 days. Yeah, after 10 days, this, this, the, the stitches can get pulled. So yeah, that was his doing, his doing. Now the aftermath is the next day, I was really, really afraid of hope because I don't know how he's going to react and what he's going to do. What is this bird doing? So, so now the trust has been a little broken. Um, I'm a little afraid of hope. He's still a sweet boy. I just don't know when the next attack will happen. No, don't put holes in my shirt. No, don't put holes in my shirt. Um, he's seven years old. That's when most owners get problems with their bird, even if they are free flight it. Um, so he is in the, the prime of his maturity. Hi. 
Loopy. Um, and I think he's just really jealous of her love and he is just really um, very protective of love too because they spend a lot of time together. I put them together in the bird room. I was afraid that I can't handle him anymore if he's so protective of love, but he lets me handle him. But yeah, the trust is a little broken. Many people says like I should just like rehome him or get rid of him because um, once a bird bite, it will bite again. Next time you don't know if it will be my lip, my nose, my face. He can take chunks out my face. I mean, check this out. This is a scar from Charlie. Three months ago, I got bitten by my by Charlie on my lip. I didn't get stitches. This is the first time that I had to get stitches uh, for a bird bite. I mean, I've got bitten like multiple times. What did you find, Hopi? <laughs> did you find some? Oh, did you find some food? Oh, hi. Okay, he found something to eat. So this is it. This is my story with Hope and how he bit my ear, right? So people says I should get rid of him, but I I won't. I'll keep him. He's still my first macaw, and he's he's significant to me because I love him so so much. It's just like he was hormonal. I should read the signs better. And um, I should have just closed the door and just let them be until they are ready to come out by themselves and not force them out. Because I really wanted hope to come out and love so I can go free flying, but they didn't want to. So yeah, and I paid dearly with my ear, but everything is good. They stitch up and they glue it up. It's stitched and glued. As you can see, <clears throat> there will be some scars. Um, but it won't be too bad. So I have I have a scar here, my knuckle from Victory. He bit me right here in my knuckle, like right here. Yeah, you can see the blood and cartilage. Then I got bitten by Charlie in my lip. I got bitten by Destiny one, two, three, four times when I'm trying to kiss him. Ever since 2020 was my last kiss. I never attempt to kiss Destiny again and I never got bitten again. And then also I, I tried to uh, kiss Charlie right here. That's the reason why I got bitten on my lip. And then Hope was a total attack. And then my first bite was from a macaw, a green wing, green wing macaw called Frida. She just came right at me and just bit my arm and just took a chunk out of my arm. But it wasn't like, 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 um, it, it did break the skin, but luckily I had a thick sweater on it. And also there was the bike marks. Um, and it did break the skin, but it wasn't too bad that I need to get stitches. So yeah, this was it. This was the story how Hope bit me. And now the aftermath of the trust issue that I have with Hope. Because um, now every time he jumped on me, I'm just like cringing. I'm just like, please don't bite me, you know. And that's not a good feeling. Like I really need to get his I need, really need to trust him again and it's hard for me to trust him after he hurt me like to extent even like I had so much pain that day you have no idea how much pain I had um even that video where they stitch out oh my gosh it was so painful the injections the numbing the stitching um everything was just painful and then the pain itself the hurt itself hi Hopi are you coming back out hi you want to go fly again yeah, you wanna go fly again? So I think we, I think we should go fly again. You wanna go fly? <laughs> oh, why, 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 Hobie? You wanna go fly? Ah, oh, the angel wanna go fly? Oh, love is just chilling. Hi, love. What is angel doing? Hi, angel. Hi, Hobie. <laughs>
it's nap time. <laughs> oh, hope his love is not hungry. Angel doesn't trust me. Hi, guy. Hi. Well, I'm gonna fly her love one more time without his GPS. I just took it off because it's nicer without. Ready? One, two, three, come. Okay guys, I'll call this a day. We have to get back home. I'm gonna put them all back in the cages. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give us a like. My analytics is again really down. Lost another 100 subscribers because YouTube four subscribe. So please go check if you are subscribed. Look at the subscribe button. If you are unsubscribed, please hit it and, and subscribe, resubscribe. I will appreciate it. I love you guys and I see you next episode of Caroline One Pet Salt. Thank you, bye. Mm -hmm.